Google knows everything, right? So let's see, can I burn calories by feeling good? How ridiculous! Nobody wants to feel good. Everyone just wants to burn the calories and have a six-pack, right? Now, let's have an experiment. You can take part. I invite you to do this workout. And I know I'm so sick, like, can you have fun while working out? But let's give it a try, okay? We do need a hula hoop though and we need to start spinning because it does help when you're working out that you start with a warm-up. <laughs> While you're doing so, I would like to show you that, yes, I have been all sizes and shapes all my life. I've been changing, I've been pregnant. I also have an underactive thyroid disorder, so I gain weight easily. But you know what? Every single day, I try and make sure that I feel awesome. How do you feel awesome? Does working out help? I hope so. I hope this workout is going to make you feel great. Also, please wear the dress that you want to wear. Do not wait for tomorrow to feel good. Feel good today. Do all the things that spark your joy, make you happy. Play happy songs and dance. Wear the swimsuit, wear the fragrance. Please do everything you can already do today with what you have and where you are, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you feel. You are perfect the way you are. You don't need to be given a permission to wear a certain color. You don't have to be invisible. You are gorgeous the way you are. It is absolutely okay to want to improve. We all want to get better, feel fitter and stronger. But while you're on that journey, please, you have the permission, just feel good now. First instruction, please use this workout for the purpose of having fun. Now you've been spinning for a while, that's awesome, that elevates the heart rate, but to elevate it even more, you can try step touching. With every single workout, you just get fitter, so you can push yourself a little bit harder. Don't hold back. <laughs> While the body is getting ready, it's good to get the mind in the right mindset also. I love a little bit of mental warm-up. So even though you're probably here for the physical workout, but we could work on you feeling awesome about yourself. So let's go into the power pose. And all you need to do is you just spin your hula hoop. You can stay on the spot and keep your arms up in the air overhead. This has been researched by Amy Cuddy and she says that your body language may shape who you are. This pose will make you more confident. With positive affirmations, you can also fine-tune your brain for success. Who doesn't want a successful workout? Let's say that exercise always makes me feel good. And I love learning and the improvements I notice make me feel a sense of achievement. I feel awesome about myself every time I've done a workout. My body and mind so deserve this gentle, loving attention. It feels good to care about myself. And after I've been active, I sleep better, I feel calmer, and my mood improves. So really, it is your service to the world to do this workout. Let's crack on and make this world a happier place. So we could tease, this is still the warm-up, it's a reminder. What was the tease is we let the hoop go down on the hips and then we wiggle it back up. And by now, maybe, this is not challenging at all. If that happens, that any moves feel too easy, you could try the same move with the hoop spinning the other way, or you could try spinning more hula hoops, or try a smaller hoop if it's available, because that will make it harder at all times. Any of these options will make it more challenging. And move more body parts, like your arms. If your hips are happy to tease your hoop, then move your arms at the same time. As your hoop goes down, the arms go down as well. Here, I already have a top tip for you, because if you can move your arms, you can do other things. If you have children and you're trying to keep fit, you don't have to get rid of them. You just hula hoop together and make them move their arms, play an instrument, do fun things, move your feet, balance something on your head. You can even go out to the fresh air and it's a bit like playing
solving puzzles. You're just not sitting on your bottom, your brain is still going to be enjoying insane fireworks, your coordination improves and you will just have a better bond because you turn into a super parent. And again, feeling good can help you burn more calories. Now you're fully qualified to have a good workout with kids, right? Easy, so let's try and move our feet because we want to be better than our kids, right? So we're going to turn around same way as the hula hoop is spinning around. As long as you go same way as the hoop is going, it feels a little more relaxing, a little bit slower, easier to keep up with the hoop. If you're doing this with kids, don't tell them and let them figure it out. <laughs> that is enough turning for now. Let's move one foot out to the side, back to center and then other foot other side. So side, center, and other side. If you can, you can make it go a little bit deeper, bending your knee, and also you can move your arms. I like to add a couple of tasks, and if it is overwhelming, ignore me, but if it's getting easier, then go for it. You can even speed it up if you're ready for it. It's amazing when you have to concentrate on so many things at once, you're almost developing your skill of being in the present moment. Kids, adults, everyone feels really overwhelmed and sometimes people don't like hula hoop tricks and challenges because they think it's too complicated but it's not the enemy when you're concentrating on tricks and trying to coordinate moves you're very much in the present moment almost like if you were meditating tricks are actually good for you there are lots of other activities that you can do and you don't actually have to focus on how you're doing them and that actually lets your mind wander to unhelpful places sometimes so maybe there is a reason why you like to hula hoop while other exercise may let you dwell in the past or worry about the future hooping actually makes you focus on your body in the present moment let's try and move to the side and then the whole body is going to follow we step and touch and step and touch and if you need to you do it slowly but if you're ready for it why not challenge yourself to speed it up a little bit add your arms into this notice if it's getting any easier is it still difficult are you still having to concentrate a lot or has your coordination already improved and is your fitness a lot better you can push yourself maybe a little harder once you can move arms and legs the next step to increase intensity is to add some travel if you don't have the room obviously you stay on the spot but if you have some room move front and back or out to the side and back Next, we shall put a hand down to catch the hula hoop and that is what we called the jenga, that's catching and pushing the hoop to go the other way and if you need to, you can cheat. You've got permission to use two hands because it is scary to catch it. It's a big, freaky, fast, heavy hula hoop and to get it started is hard as well with one hand initially. But if it's not a struggle, then you just go with the one hand. You can add your step touches and you can care about how you're holding the hand that you're not using to catch the hoop because you can actually make it look quite pretty. If you no longer need to use two hands anymore, then just praise the universe nice and proud because maybe there was a time you were struggling with this one and if it's feeling easy, then it's a sense of achievement that you should experience. It means you're awesome. Next, it's the bunny girl coming up. You put your feet whichever way you like. You may want them wider or nearer. See what works best. You can even jump up if you need to generate momentum or if the hoop feels wonky. A little jump will tidy it up. You just bend your knees and let your hips drop down and then keep going up and down. Just remember to keep your arms out of the way because they can knock the hoop down and just push your bum out to the back. Now that we mentioned back, if you move front and back, you can get your hoop tidy and straight. And if you move up and down, pushing your tummy out to the front, that will make it into a bunny boy. Here, you just need to squeeze your bottom and open up your chest. Keep your arms out of the way. If you want, you can jump up or you can hop forward. You want to be on your way upwards when the hoop is rolling on your tummy add any bouncy movement it will always help to give it more momentum and get it tilted and also to tidy it up tidying up sometimes can be necessary if your hoop feels super wonky you can always recover it 
just fix any moves that are wonky and weird and need fixing with a jenga so you just reach out for your hoop before it goes super wrong and then push it a few times here and there and then you act like you were meant to do it so this is an amazing little recovery move only one thing to remember you need to let it spin the way you like to spin because if you end up in your non-preferred direction thank you for having a look at this free preview to give the whole workout a go and get to enjoy tons of conditioning sessions fun and easy to follow tutorials and dance workouts come and explore my hoping studio there's a discount link in the description it's available for a limited time you're going to fall madly in love with your body and your hula hoop journey forever we'll be enjoying Fun challenges. Come and see me in my online hula hoop playground. And if you have a few more minutes, hula hoop some more. See you in the next video.